Hello students, in this video we will study about the characteristic of different type of DC generator. Now let's start. Characteristic. Now first question is that what is meant by characteristic? Why is required to plot characteristic? There is only one answer of all this question. It gives us the information about the performance of the motor or the generator during different operating condition. That means in generator case, what happens if we increase the excitation on induced voltage? What happens if we increase the load? Hence this answer we will get from characteristic. Now why we require this information? So to select correct or well efficient motor for particular operation, characteristic of motor required. Hope you understand what is the need of characteristic. There is a three type of tests conducted on different generator like self excited generator, separately excited generator and compound one generator. According to its performance characteristic is plotted. This characteristic normally of three type. Open circuit characteristic, internal characteristic and external characteristic. Let's study this test on different generator. First is a separately excited DC generator on open circuit or no load characteristic. OCC the generator tested on no load condition to check its performance. The circuit diagram of separately excited DC generator is shown in figure and the induced voltage equation is given by E is equal to 5 PNZ upon 60A where PNZ and A is nothing but number of pole, speed, number of conductor and parallel path where PNZ and 60A is a constant but flux can be varied by changing the field excitation that means the field excitation is directly proportional to the flux. Hence by changing the field excitation we can change the flux indirectly the induced voltage is directly proportional to the field excitation hence the output circuit open circuit characteristic is plotted between the no load induced voltage and field excitation that observing the performance of the generator by changing the excitation hence we get the increasing induced voltage by increase the field excitation as from equation induced voltage is also depend upon the speed Hence we draw characteristic for different speed of generator that means increasing speed induced voltage also increases. Hence induced voltage for N3 is greater than the induced voltage for N1. But this increase in induced voltage is for desired level that means after certain field excitation core gets saturated and flux become constant hence voltage also remain constant hence after this point we will get constant voltage. This is an open circuit characteristic. Now let's see the internal and external characteristic of separately excited DC generator. In this, the generator operated into on load condition and check its performance. As we know the equation of separately excited DC generator, the E is equal to Vt plus IRA plus VB, where Vt is nothing but terminal voltage, IRA nothing but armature current and armature resistance. And as from circuit diagram, the armature current is equal to load current. That means if we increase the load, the load armature current also increases and armature reaction also increases hence if you want in my previous lecture on types of dc generator i detailly explain how this equation generate you can watch for better understanding suggestion is given above now the characteristic plotted between the induced voltage and load current it called internal characteristic and the difference between no load induced voltage to on load induced voltage is because of increase in IL and causes of armature reaction. Now let's toward the terminal voltage as from equation E, mi e minus IRA is equal to VT that means increase in load IL also increases with increase in armature current. Hence the terminal voltage is decreases. The characteristic between terminal voltage and load current is called external characteristic. And the difference between the low load in this voltage and the terminal voltage is because of armature reaction and resistance drop due to IL. And this is an internal and external characteristic of separately excited DC generator. If my video helpful for you then please subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for notification of our new videos. Now let's see the performance of a shunt generator. The circuit diagram is shown in figure and the induced voltage equation is given by E is equal to Vt plus IRA plus Vb. 
now the current equation of a shunt generator is given by armature current is equal to load current plus shunt current that means if we increase the load the IL also increases and it's result in increase in armature current but the as current increases losses also increases so the internal characteristic is plotted between induced voltage and armature current and the difference between no load induced voltage and on load induced voltage is because of armature reaction drop hence the induced voltage is small decreases with increase in armature current now let's toward the external characteristics as from equation e minus ira is equal to vt increasing load armature current also increases that decrease the terminal voltage hence the graph between terminal voltage v and load current il is known as external characteristic and the drop between no load voltage and terminal voltage is because of losses or resistance drop now let's toward the series generator the circuit diagram is shown in figure and the army and the current equation is given by i is equal to il is equal to ic that means increase in load increase all these parameters in other hand characteristic depend upon the load current armature current or shunt field current but this case all the parameters are same and the characteristic of this generator is also somewhat similar and the combined equation of all the characters shown in figure here this is an external characteristic this is an internal characteristic and at the last this is an OCC that is no load characteristics and the difference between no load and the external characteristic is because of losses now let's toward the last generator that is compound one generator the figure shows the characteristic of a compound generator if series winding ampere turns are adjust, adjusted so that increase in load current causes increase in terminal voltage then generator is called over compound generator and if the series winding ampere turns are adjusted so that the terminal voltage remains constant even if the load current is increases then the generator is called flat compound generator and if the series winding has lesser number of turns that required for flat compound the generator is called under compound generator and this is an end of this topic hope this is helpful for you this is the end of this video if my video helpful for you then please like and share subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon for notification of new videos and at the end thanks for watching